iron in the soul. What's up, YouTube? This is your brother, King Jabez. Back today with another very important message. Please subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Share this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about my content. In addition to that, please feel free to follow me over on Instagram at the King Jabez, as well as my website, theironandsoul.com. Whatever you decide to do will be greatly appreciated. Also, please hit that like button on the way in. That will help to spread this message on YouTube. Today's video is entitled Chosen Ones. Elite eyes are watching you, waiting for your next major move. And this is such an important topic. We think about the word prosper. The word prosper in the Hebrew means to help one's way. And so there are men and women who are watching you, who are in a position to help you to be successful in that next big move that you're trying to make. And so in today's video, I want to really break down what that means and how one should go about doing that. The truth is a man's gift opens doors for you, brings you before great people. But can your character keep you there? And, and that's what elite people are trying to see in you. What type of character do you truly have? I know someone uh, from my family who was, is very talented, very gifted. And in my opinion, should be well known at this point. Had the look, the charisma, the ability, everything that was necessary to be an artist in his field. And I personally believe that it was in part his character that really hindered his progress. So he got the elite eyes on him. And once he got into those rooms, once he got into those environments, the character defects became a turnoff to those who had the power and the ability to promote and to prosper his life. And that's something I want you all to listen to this talk to really think about. In other words, sudden elevation can lead to a fall for many people. So for those of you who are waiting for this elite moment, I want to encourage you that it is coming. But in the meantime, just maybe it hasn't quite come yet because you're still developing. You know, the promotion as well as the demotion, the ups, the downs, the prosperity as well as the lack. All of those various life experiences over time is what's developing your character of loyalty, truthfulness, honesty, dependability. This is what elite people are looking at. Is this person dependable? Is this person going to be consistent for 12 months, two years? Can I trust you with this task? Because when something big is coming your way, whether it be from God, through people, God himself, he's not going to give you something you're not ready for yet. So that opportunity is there. And he's really waiting on you to really get your character to match the energy of this next level. So if it's taken this much time and it's been this difficult, then that means it's that big. I want you to get this. The greater the testing, the greater the blessing. I want you to really process that. That's not just a cliche. That's real life. The greater your test is, the bigger this next move is going to be. And the elite eyes are on you because they can see the potential. They're waiting on you to make this next big move. And, and this next big move is not going to cost this astronomical amount of money. It's going to be a sacrifice. The next big move may be you going to a certain city. You may need to get on your, get in a plane, drive, rent a car, go to L.A. I'm going to talk to you, make a plane, go to New York. Go to one of these cities where what you're trying to do is being done. Jump out there. Sometimes to get these elite eyes on you, you have to present yourself before these people. But before you do that, make sure your character is where it needs to be. Make sure you have addressed those insecurities. Let me talk to you for a minute. I'm not trying to preach. I'm just trying to talk to you. It's a big brother. Make sure you have your character on point. So then when you get there, because the one thing I tell you about this, elite people, the eyes on you, they've seen a lot of people. And, and when your character defects are, are just so obvious to everybody, it's, the door's going to close in your face. So you don't want the door to close because you're not developing what's most important. And so I want you to work on that day by day, being consistent, being disciplined, being honest, having that moral fiber. Moral fiber is a superpower. So for some of you, it, this may require you going on a, a period of celibacy for maybe one to three months, one to six months to get you to that next level, to have your vibration your frequency high 
so that you can shine and glow and be able to really showcase your gift at the highest level. See, each man has his own proper gift from God. What you have is very important. And you don't want to taint that based on your character. So you have these gifts that are being important to you. This is why some of you are having vivid dreams. Let me talk to you. This is why some of you are, are, are tired all the time. Some of you say, big bro, I'm tired all the time. That's because little do you know, behind the scenes, the most high is pouring stuff into you. He's giving you a gift, you know. And what's going to happen is when you get before these lead eyes, it's going to come out. And it's not because we're so great. It's because God is. And he's putting these gifts into you. He's giving you these abilities. He's giving you these, for lack of a better word, superpowers. And when people see that, that's going to lead to the promotion. That's going to lead to that next opportunity. That's going to lead you to this moment that you've been waiting for. That moment of recognition. That moment of prosperity. Right? That comes from a place. You've, you've basically cultivated the gift. And now your moment is here. This is a good time in the video. Now that I have your attention. To really drop this piece on you. Many of you have to work on your trust issues. If you want to get to this next level, if you want to carry yourself real well around these lead people, then you have to work on those trust issues. Because of your season of isolation, your trials, the pain, the rejection, all that made you who you are, the natural consequence of being a chosen one. If you don't heal from that properly, your energy is going to be off. And you don't want to be suspicious of everybody. There are some people who don't have intentions to hurt you. They really want to, to bless you. So don't allow your previous pain, the obstacles you have to overcome. Don't allow that to dictate who you are. Don't make that your identity. Does that make sense? And, and I can't think of a better example right now, at least, than Joseph from the Bible. Here is someone who spent 13 years as a prisoner and slave, rejected by his own brothers. A perfect chosen one. Okay, perfect example of a chosen one. Rejected by his own brothers, like many of you all have been. Right? I read the comments from the video just about family. Family rejection, hurt, pain, sold out into slavery by his own. Ends up in the land of Egypt as a slave. And if that wasn't bad enough, He's lied on, his character is assassinated, okay, aka bullied, you know, pushed aside, ganged up on him because he was pure. And some people have a problem with your purity, by the way, too, because you carry yourself a certain way, they struggle to process that. And they want to put this negative image on you anyway. That happens too. When you are a pure man, when you are a pure woman, there's so many impure people out here that they can't believe or accept that you're not that. Right? They can't accept it's not that with me. Just because every man's a dog, I'm not a dog. Just because all these women are going, you're saying, well, I'm not going. I'm not them. And people can't process this. Let me just drop that real quick through real quick. Just tell them, I, I, this ain't that. Okay? Let somebody say, this ain't that when you come to me. And so he ends up in prison. All these bad things happen, but he never allowed all of that. 13 years of that, by the way. He never allowed 13 years of that to mess up his moment. Because his moment came. Those elite eyes were on him. In this case, it was the Pharaoh who was over all of Egypt. said, I want to talk to Joseph. And he carried himself well with that opportunity. So let me put this out here too. Great opportunities come when you least suspect it. You can be struggling right now. He was in prison. So stop thinking you had to be at this level. Before the opportunity comes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Be expecting that breakthrough right where you're at. Look for opportunities with right in where, where you're at right now. And when the opportunity came, his character shined. He used his gift which to interpret dreams. He used it for the Pharaoh. He honored him. And just like that from being a prisoner, he's over all of Egypt as the prime minister. Because he was ready when the elite eyes came. When they gave him a test. They came there, wait for him to make a big move. He made that move. He, he interpreted the dream. He stepped up, wouldn't shave, put some clothes on. Boom, held the business. And he was in position for the rest of his life. So, yes, 
elite eyes are on you even when you're struggling. Are you listening to me? So for those who are struggling right now, and let me put this out there too. Do not join the wrong team because you're struggling right now. Let me put that out there. There's a lot of evil societies out here. Let me, I'm, I'm talking now. I'm going to just drop this real smooth, low key. There's a lot of people out here looking for connections. A lot of organizations that got the money, who got the power, who got the clout. And they will give you a phone call. They will reach out to you because they know you're lonely right now. They know you're struggling right now. And it's during this time. I'm, I'm talking to you now. Yeah, I got your attention now. You got to be careful. You, you have to be careful that you're not so desperate for, and that's what's a bad word. You're not so in need of connection. would be a better way of putting that. In need of opportunity, which we are. We all need connection, opportunity. That's, that's the way life works. We don't want to be so much in need of that that we sell out and join the wrong team. Because like I said before, I got some on the phone calls. And this, this guy, I told this guy was from New York. And I looked him up. He had some bread. He he was, let's put this, put this out here. I'm teaching you something now. Getting a little personal. He was a high-ranking voodoo doctor. who had a lot of money. And he was over a lot of churches. So what I know from experience, some of these so-called pastors are actually involved in witchcraft. Okay? This is what I know. And that joker tried to recruit, recruit me. When he came out there to New York, he had the bread. He was going to put me on. This, this, this big bro, I ain't just talking. You guys follow me, you know I can talk. I have the charisma. This guy peeped me. He, he saw my, he, he caught my drift. <laughs> so I can use this young brother. And I said, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> no. That was four years ago. So technically, I would have been on right now had I did that. But I'd rather go this way. The struggle, build the space, step by step, brick by brick, the honest way. The right way. Ain't buying views. Ain't buying subs. None of that. Goes. We ain't doing none of that over here. I'd rather go the hard way. And get there the right way. Over the course of four, five years, six years, seven years, eight years. Grinding, working, praying, fasting. In the gym. Mind right. I'd rather do it the right way, brother. Sister, I'm talking to you now. I'm your big brother. So what am I saying? Do it the right way. Don't sell out and get that shortcut. Don't take that easy bag in six months. It may take you five, six years, but you have it with integrity, with your character and name intact. That's worth more. You don't have to do anything weird to get that. That's a good feeling. And that's what I want to encourage in this video. Yes, the elite eyes are on you and they're waiting for you to make that next move. But I want you to make that next move. This is, here's an old, here's an old saying here, Chicago saying. This is Chicago slang for you. I want my next move to be my best move. You dig? That's what I'm thinking about. That's my mindset. The next six months, you know what I'm saying? From September to February, let me give you a vision. From September 1st to February 2024, you, sir, you, ma'am, you want your next move to be your best move. I'm giving you a goal. I'm giving you a goal now. You got six months. Make a move. I'm not saying your whole life's going to change. I ain't saying this got to be. But do something significant. Do something that you can be proud of six months from now. Right? That should be your goal. And, and, and figure out. You say, if you know what it is, I want you to sit down for an hour and think about it. Sit down somewhere in a quiet room with a notepad and a pen. And, and write down some concrete goals. A move that you will be proud of February 2024. It's called Vision. Vision is seeing what other people don't see. And also be careful who you show your vision with. Let me just drop that piece real quick too. Be careful who you tell your stuff to. Quit telling people your ideas. They'll take it from you and they'll use it before you do. Okay? Do it the right way. This is the real world. Copyright your ideas. Do it the legit way. There are a bunch of vultures and sharks and snakes, hyenas, whatever animal you can think of. They out here. They watching you. So make sure we make the move. Make it the right way. Protect yourself. Don't let somebody come in and steal your brand. <laughs> steal your idea. Do it the right way. So as I wrap this up, let me put some teeth into this as I end. You got to put some skin in the game. You have to sacrifice something to make this happen. Make a move. You have to make this be some money, some time. Um, you got to jump out there. Elite eyes are on you, but they're waiting on you to do something. 
they see the potential, they kind of wait and everybody kind of feel it. It's an anticipation around you. So I, I did some in my own life. I'm not making about myself. But I did something recently behind the scenes that hasn't come out yet. It may in the next, you know, one, three months, whatever. I'm going to be patient about it. But I'm working on something now that I want to do the right way. And it was a sacrifice. So I'm telling you that for, for your life. Sacrifice something. Make that next move. Think it through. Talk to somebody. Get some advice. Read a book. Travel. Find a way to do this right. Don't do it any kind of way. So if it takes your next six months to figure it out, that's fine. But this next move needs to be your best move. This is your big brother, King Jabez. Thanks for listening. God bless. Peace.